Hello folks, Dr. Cosmac here. Got something a little different today. A friend of mine handed me this Korg Poly 61 M. M for MIDI. Which has apparently had a few less than careful owners during its lifetime. My friend tells me it's not operational. I switched it on. The, uh, the LFO LED in control seems to be working correctly, but none of the other indicators or buttons do anything. Nor does the keyboard seem to work, nor the joystick, which is smashed, nor does it seem to respond to MIDI inputs. That may be a MIDI channel problem or maybe something else. I don't know. So I'm going to take this thing apart see if there's anything obviously physically disconnected first. Uh, give it a good cleaning and inspection, see what can be reconnected, and uh, if any part of this can be made to work correctly again. So as we look inside this we see it's a typical piece of uh, mid-80s hardware. There's just a million flying wires and connectors. Uh, I can also see that the uh, the battery, which I guess is for the memory backup, is showing a little corrosion on one side, so that's going to need to be taken out and replaced at some point. But otherwise, uh, looks remarkably clean. I've removed this uh, memory backup battery, which is pretty crusty as you can see. And here's where it was. And if you look, you can see that there's some pretty badly corroded traces around where the battery was located. The uh, joystick assembly here has uh, been removed. It's pretty badly smashed up. It seems to be missing a piece. I don't know where that went. But at least the potentiometers are still in uh, usable condition. The missing joystick part turned out to be the joystick Y support, which is a small clip made out of metal. It was actually underneath one of the circuit boards, causing a short, which was preventing the entire unit from functioning. Once I moved it from that location, the Poly 61M started to work again. Mostly. This little part of the joystick was also broken. Unfortunately, it's basically impossible to get new parts for this keyboard that was manufactured in 1984 or so. I cut the old bit off and made some measurements, designed this new part in FreeCAD, 3D printed it and glued it onto the joystick, and put the whole thing together. The joystick now works as it should. The corroded battery caused some other problems. Notably, this trace was broken, which meant that the programmer didn't work. Uh, you couldn't push the buttons to edit program parameters or switch between program and parameter edit mode. It also prevented the tape interface from working. So I replaced this trace with a wire on the back of the circuit board. There were a couple of other components, a transistor and a capacitor that had corroded leads that also required replacement. I have some replacement keys arriving, so in an upcoming video, I'll be showing you guys what the completely restored unit looks and sounds like. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheers.